The greenhouse in midsummer is a wonderful place to be. You can see the incredible abundance of all the plants growing here. For example, melons growing tall. I grow them up a string and they will start fruiting soon. Whereas a close relative cucumber is, has been cropping for a while. You can see these wonderful cucumbers growing on the plant. So that one's ready to harvest and then the others will grow on behind. And then behind them, there's some basil in the side beds and the main crop in the middle, which is tomatoes. And we're going to have a closer look behind me. It's now midsummer, 10 weeks after planting these little tomato plants. And look how they've grown. They have just shot up six feet high, over two meters. And it's been a busy time because I'm in here every two or three days, watering, side shooting, training them up the string. So a string in the planting hole and I'm just twisting them around the string as they grow. Very simple way to support them. And many varieties here. There's sun cherry smile, sun chocker, sun lemon, and sun gold, among others. These are just the early cherry tomatoes. Sun gold's my favorite probably, partly because it's so early. And this one is the one I was planting in the previous video. And already this is now the second truss. And so the whole first truss is finished and I'm picking fruit from this one and they're delicious. After you finish picking a truss and you have an empty one, it's good to cut off any trusses which have finished giving all their fruit and then also any lower leaves up to the next truss. And that way you keep the plant clear and you can water without wetting the leaves. And that's a key way to keep blight off the leaves because blight can only enter when the leaves are wet. There's another really interesting thing going on here, which is how these plants are rooting into the surface compost. So this is undug soil. This soil has not been disturbed at all. It simply had three inches of compost put on top in May at the time of planting these tomatoes. And if we take a closer look at it, we can see how the roots of the tomatoes and everything growing in here, in fact, they're all very visible near the top of the ground. It's a bit of a myth that plants root down as well. They do, okay. But a lot of their rooting is actually very close to the surface. And that's why it's fine to put compost on top. Plants can send their roots into it to find all the goodness in it and pull out any moisture in there as well as the roots that they have deeper down. But be assured that putting compost on top is great for plants and it's the natural way of doing things. Look how healthy these plants are here. You know, this is what they're really enjoying doing. It's the best way to grow plants. No dig with compost on top. 